Hello you monkeys jumping on top of each other and welcome to me and my first impressions of anime Street Fight, a game which has the most generic title ever and I'll be disappointed if there's no anime or street fighting involved, but there is a very generic 3D anime model I see here. I've seen this in so many games which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing that I've seen it so much. Also the options menu just this sucks by the way. Mr. or Mrs. or both developer, this absolutely sucks because you have to go through next page on home to get to the different levels. By the way, level one description, level two description, and so on. And she's still in the front blocking everything. Still here, deathmatch game mode. I don't know how you're going to get deathmatch game modes with apparently with all these players in. Which are clearly not for you. This has not been finished. Server title here. A little bit description here. That's clearly not a thing. And then we go to another page. Which involves tutorials. And you're like okay yeah that's all fine. However there is. Um, like look sensitivity. Which isn't going to be in this. Because you won't need it. This is all for an FPS game. Which does not exist in this game. So that needs to all be changed. I mean that is the bare minimum. Of what needs to be changed for this and it's one of those games where the right analog stick moves the mouse cursor the d-pad is not supported at all so that needs to change before we even get into the game that needs to be completely fixed anyway let's play the game shall we and see what happens uh wait so you're previewing the level 11 character but i'm only allowed this one nikki nikki yuki and zuzu Zuzu is supremely better than everyone else. Anyway, out of all of them, I would probably choose... I don't know, I'll probably choose Nikki or Yuki anyway, to be fair. But I'm glad we got Nikki to start with, because she's the fast one. And I like speedy characters. And yes, you're going to see me struggle. Oh my god! Oh my god! Why is the music so loud? And now is the left analog stick to move this thing. Uh, please, please, I can't interact with the settings. I'm so sorry, everybody. Uh, how? How do? How do? This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm back. This is actually ridiculous. Um... I can't use the controller other than to jump. That is literally it. Just jump. That's all I can do. Okay, good start. Arrow keys? Oh, you're kidding me. Arrow keys. Z to punch. X to kick. C to block. Have space to jump? Space to jump. This is awful. What the hell? Come on. Really? Oh, we can only go up and down a tiny bit. <laughs> Alright, no worries. Oh, wait. Oh, is the car taking up more room than it actually looks like? Yes, it is. Okay. Nice. I, I, I don't... Okay. Got you. So, because I've turned the... Volume down in the volume mixer. Because I can't access the setting. The sound effects... Now we're so quiet, you can't hear them. That's good. We're dealing with it. We're dealing with it. You're going to listen to this music. Um, oh, there you go. Bit of sound effect for you guys. Just the music's calming down. The music itself is noise. I'll give it that. It's noise. It's not the most offensive song I've ever heard. But it's, uh, it's not particularly great. Also, what are these enemies from? What are they supposed to be? Just some weird monks. I'm trying to, trying to do some combos. Nice. Uh, there's no sprint, I don't think. Maybe it's left shift, like it's an FPS. Complete level 1. Something tells me there's only level, like, 10 levels. 
And it's the same song. Okay. This is possibly one of the laziest games I've ever played. I need to pay attention to the names as well. So that was Chris. This is Anthony. I'm assuming that Chris was short for Christina. Or is it a guy? I don't know. No, the woman, right? Honestly, not sure. Have we got any other moves? I don't think we do. Just a punch and a kick and a block. Oh, it was a triple kill. So I was also trying to figure out like, how to do like the ground stomp. Thomas. That's Thomas. That's Mark. Wait, does... Oh, okay. So I can still hit them when they haven't finished their getting up animation. Okay. Yeah, nice. That's good. That makes things easier. I'm not laughing because I'm entertained or finding this funny. I'm laughing because I can't believe how lazy this is. And the worst part is, like, the, um, what's it, Saito Games, they very generously gave me a key for this. So I could play this and do a video on it. But I can't find anything which I can say is a positive. Even the arrow pointing to the right is from something completely different to what it should be. The whole art style doesn't exist. There, this is no style. It's just a bunch of things slammed together. That's it. They've just gone, oh, okay, this is probably a free a a asset on Unity, because that's uh, what it started on. Game loaded up with Unity and it's gone, right, generic pixel pack or something like that. That's probably what it's called, a polygon pack. And they've taken all of the enemies from it. But they've also taken three, three anime characters and just gone, yeah, that'll do. But this is the bare minimum of a game. Like, the bare minimum to make a game. There was... I can't see, I'm trying to find some redeeming qualities for this, some care and attention that they may have put in, but no, I can't, I actually can't. This is literally the bare minimum of what a game should be. And I didn't want to, <laughs> I didn't want to be negative, like that's the thing, like I said, I'm very thankful that Photo Games gave me the uh, the key to be able to make this video for you but that's that's about the only praise I've got uh, okay no it functions it does function I have played games in the past which didn't so I'll give it that but there's not even any boss fights or anything there's no special moves. Or if there is, it's hidden behind this keyboard that I'm having to try and use because, you know, it won't let me use a controller. <sighs> Just sorry, I suppose there's weapons you can pick up. But seriously, why? That's all I want to know. Why? Why bother? Why bother putting this on Steam? I don't understand it. It's the bare minimum you need for a game to exist. The menu doesn't even work. Look! The menu doesn't even work. I don't even think I could punch my way out into the main menu. Left click. Nothing. The, the menu doesn't even work. All it does is bring it up. 
That's it. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. My name is Player. Player. Couldn't even be bothered to change that to be, was it, Nikki? Couldn't even be bothered. I think the only bit, the only bit of care or attention or anything that I've seen is see the kitty face? I think that's Saito Games' logo. And that's the only thing that this developer, if you want to call them that, has put in that's theirs. The rest of it is just like a free Unity asset pack or multiple free Unity asset packs. For example, the background does match the character models, but the weapons and this barrel here doesn't. And neither does the anime girl or the boxes. The only thing that matches is the enemy types and the background. Everything else is completely different or taken from completely different Unity asset packs. You've got a hugely basic game. Just add some stuff to it that's your own instead of just your logo. This is very frustrating for me. I hate this type of thing going on Steam. I really do. It's so lazy. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Don't play it. Leave it alone. Seriously. It's actually frustrated me that much. Thanks again for the key, but what a joke. Take your game off Steam. Seriously. This, is, this isn't a proper game. It's the bare minimum, and it should be taken off Steam.